From here, we're going to be modeling in Blender, starting with the eyeball. This section also includes a brief overview of Blender 2.5's interface, as well as introduce many of the tools and hotkeys we'll be using throughout this workshop. First, we'll prepare our workspace. Select the default cube using right mouse button and press X to delete it. Select the default lamp and camera, press H to hide them for now. Press numpad 1 to bring us to front view and numpad 5 for ortho. In front ortho view, press shift A to add mesh UV sphere. Middle mouse scroll to zoom in. Left mouse button and drag to adjust the tool shelf. Segments and rings can be adjusted here to update the sphere in real time. We'll give the sphere 16 segments and 16 rings. Size can also be adjusted, but we'll leave it at 1. Align to view so it's pointing forward in our front view. Under Object Tools, select Smooth Shading, press Z to toggle from shaded to wireframe. In the Properties shelf, we can zoom in and out using Control, Middle Mouse, Drag, Left or Right. To view full wire in object mode, under Display, activate Display All Edges. Next, Hide the grid floor and these as well, we won't be needing them. Press Z to toggle from wire to shaded. And press Ctrl A to apply our object's rotation values. In the Properties panel under Modifiers, add a subdivision surface to our object. Activate the optimal display to skip display of subdivided edges. Press Tab to toggle into edit mode and Z to toggle into wireframe. Activate Apply Modifier to editing cage.
switch to right ortho view using numpad 3, and in edit mode, press B and left mouse button to box select these edge loops. To deselect this last edge loop, press shift alt right mouse button. This will give us a good sized iris. Hide the 3D manipulator for now. Tab into object mode, numpad 3 for side view, and with the object selected, press Shift D to duplicate it. Tab back into edit mode, and press A to select all. Next, press S to scale the duplicated sphere slightly to about 1.01. The scale values can be seen updating at the bottom left hand corner of the viewport. Press left mouse button to apply scale. The eyeball we're creating will consist of two parts. The eyeball and the cornea, which is the clear glossy part that encases the eyeball. In properties panel under object, we'll name this outer sphere geocornea. Next, select the inner sphere and we'll name this Geo Eyeball. Select the cornea and press H to hide it for now. With only the eyeball object visible, we'll start modifying it in edit mode to define the iris. Holding the mouse over these edge loops, press CTRL-R to add an edge loop cut. Left mouse button to apply, move the mouse to slide the edge over, and left mouse button to apply this move. Add another edge loop cut, edge slide so the three edge loops create the edge of the iris. Right click to select the center vertex and press X to delete it. Press Shift-Alt right mouse button to select this edge loop and press S to scale it in a bit. With this edge loop selected, press G to grab and Y to translate back slightly. Under Modifiers, increase the subdivision view to 2. Add another edge loop at the center of the iris. Now we'll form the pupil. Select this edge loop and press E to extrude, then G and Y to translate it back a bit. Extrude again and translate this back. Extrude again. Extrude once more and scale it. 
Press Alt-M to merge selected vertices to Center or Collapse. This removed 16 overlapping vertices, leaving us with a single vertex. In Edit Mode, Control tab to go into Face Mesh Select Mode. Right mouse button to select one triangle and shift select the next one over. Press Alt J to change them into a quad. And repeat this for the remaining triangles, basically turning these 16 triangles into 8 quads. Control tab to vertex select mode. Edge loop select the center of the iris and translate this back slightly to give it some depth. Press Ctrl Numpad 1 to bring us to Back Ortho View. And repeating the same steps as we did earlier, we'll turn these triangles at the back into quads. Adjust the shape a bit by translating and scaling each edge loop. Now that the eyeball is completed, let's move on to the cornea. Press numpad 3 for side view, and in the outliner window, unhide the cornea by clicking on the object's visibility icon. While the iris geometry pulls inward at the center, the cornea will push outward at the center, creating a slight convex shape. Before we start, I'm going to duplicate the sphere to create a temporary reference and hide it for now. Create an edge for a cornea with an additional edge loop. Slide it over to match the same location as the eyeball's iris edge. Before we push the center vertex outward, let's enable the proportional editing mode or press O on our keyboard. Press G to grab and middle mouse scroll to scale the brush size. Translate forward slightly.
add another edge loop here. And press O to toggle out of proportional edit. Select this edge loop and scale it in and continue to select individual edge loops to form the shape. Select this edge loop and to slide it over, press Ctrl E for the Edges menu. Select Edge Slide. Scale it out. To flatten out this point, select the area and scale with S followed by Y. To toggle between maximized and frame view windows, press Shift Spacebar. Control tab to face mesh select mode and turn these triangles into quads using Alt J. There's a slight dip inward that we need to smooth out. Press C to enable the circle select brush and select this area using the left mouse button. Right mouse button to exit. Press W to open the specials menu and select smooth. It's important to make this surface as smooth as possible since it will be used to catch the light and needs to reflect a smooth specular reflection. As a final step, press Control Numpad 1 for back ortho view and change these triangles to quads. Press Shift Spacebar to toggle out of maximized view. Comparing with the tenth sphere, note how the cornea's convex shape is very slight. Under Object, Display, let's switch the draw type to Wire.
This draw type allows us to view the eyeball geometry underneath. Adding refraction to the cornea will bend the light, pulling the iris forward, mimicking the real construction of the human eyeball. With both selected, press M to open up the Layer Selection menu. Select Layer 2 to move them out of Layer 1 and into Layer 2. We'll leave these hidden in Layer 2 for now while we continue our work in Layer 1.